What's up everybody, Aura El Avinu here and watch till the end of this video to learn how you can get a free download of the Crestus app, which is pretty much what this whole episode is about. See you there. So you've developed this app. Tell me more about it. Yeah, so uh, so with this um, other company, I've developed an app. Uh, it's very primitive in stages right now, but it's still available. It's uh, available for um, iOS and uh, uh, Android and for mobile devices. And it's called Crestus, uh, C-H-R-E-S-T-U-S. And um, what it does, I mean, the ultimate goal is we're going to have every argument for and against the historicity of Jesus in it. But... Uh, the side thing that's in there is it has a Bayesian calculator that uses the odds form that I talked about on the board that other night. So it actually has a calculator in there where you can actually fill in the figures and it asks you questions and you can actually create evidence and label it and put it in and actually see the effect of evidence mathematically on the conclusion. Uh, so if you want to have like a handy little tool, for do you can be applied to any argument, not just the historicity of Jesus, just any argument you ever make, you can actually walk yourself through the prior probability, the likelihood and so on. And actually see like, well, if this is, this is the odds that I think this has, and these are the odds that I think that has, the conclusion has to be this, right? And so the only way you can get away from that conclusion is to change some of those other estimates. So you start to understand the structure of your own reasoning, the structure of your own arguments. It's a really handy tool for figuring out how Bayes' theorem works and for applying it to actually make your arguments better. Is this public now or? Yes, it's available now. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, the, the, the argument tree is still primitive, it's, so we got to build it out more, but the calculator is there, all usable. Uh, I highly recommend it for people who want to like tool around with this stuff. I'm, I'm doing that after this. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and where can people find that again? Uh, on Apple Store, um, you know, the application store, and on Android, uh, Google Play. I'm glad it's on Android. Android always gets like left out some oh. <laughs> Have you uh, heard of blank, uh, Blake Junta? No. Mm -hmm. uh, he oh, yeah, but go on, yes. Yeah, he created an argument tree um, that you can go on. I like on. this, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, the arguments for God are this, the refutations for God are this, and then the counter arguments back yeah, uh, in favor, favor of excellent. God. So I did read through that, mm -hmm. or some of it. Um, I had an interview with him, and I wasn't so happy with some of the counter arguments because they seem mostly open ended. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of biblical uh, citations in there, mm -hmm. and I kind of don't count that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I imagine other Christians will look yes. at that and think that's exactly what they need. Mm -hmm. um, and they might think you're trying to trick them. Right. So, how do you respond to that? Well, uh, I mean, whatever responses you get, you start building it out further, right? That's the goal, ultimately. We're gonna have this built out to the point where every argument pro and con gets in there. It's not all in there now, but it will be eventually, and it'll be better organized. So, um, yeah, that's the fundamental goal of this, is to have that where you can go in and find it, and it'll be, it'll reference scholarship at the end, so you can go and research the stuff yourself if you really wanna like go further, really question something. Uh, it'll have the resources. It'll point you to the resources for further research. So that's the goal, and I think for this, this will just apply to the historicity of Jesus, not to any other uh, argument trees. But that's that's what Crestus as an app is for. Essentially, what it's given back to people then is the probabilities of right. this being true or not true exactly. regarding the historicity of Jesus. The odds that Jesus existed or not, given your assumptions. So you can actually like these are the assumptions I'm making. And then of course you have to ask why am I making these assumptions? But that's that's where the argument goes, right? Yeah. So one of the valuable things of this is, and I think this is what happens a lot of the times, that people will pick one argument in this whole debate and focus on that and not pay attention to how does that even change the probability in the end, right? Like they, they don't think in terms of like, is there even a point in challenging this? Like even if we remove this, do we actually get the probability up any? Like what, what's the effect of my challenging assumptions versus not having them. So uh, this calculator allows you to, to actually test that. Say like, well, what if I say this? And what is the effect of that on the probability that Jesus existed? And then of course you have to ask like, why am I assigning this probability to this thing? But that's the whole point of it is it shows that you have to make these assumptions. You have to make these assumptions about probability to get the conclusion that the historicity of Jesus prob is probable. And so this forces you to acknowledge that, and then it forces you to ask, why are you assigning these probabilities in, in the assumptions and the premises? Like, why, why those probabilities and not others? 
Uh, and I think that's really the value of Bayesian reasoning to history in general, is that it forces you to actually examine what your assumptions are and to question whether those assumptions are valid. Uh, and, and that's the whole structure of it, and that's one of the useful things about the Crespus app. Do you think Christians would appreciate using that app? Who knows? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I have a lot of people, um, even though their arguments and their reasoning is mathematical, they just don't know it. But people have a hard time going there and sort of like committing to understanding how and why their arguments are mathematical. And I think to an extent, our culture has anti-taught people math, that we've made people hate math and not think that it's something that they can't understand, which is unfortunate because in reality, almost everything you do in life is mathematical. Uh, like you're, all your business, all your life, there's math in there, everything you're doing. And we haven't taught people to appreciate that or benefit from knowing that. Like once you know that, there's so much more you can do. Uh, and, and this includes like how we make arguments, how we come to conclusions, because we're just making conclusions about probability. So we better understand probability theory. We better understand how is our brain constructing these probabilities for us? What probabilities is our brain constructing for us? Uh, uh, people need to confront this and see this as important to their lives. Uh, but a lot of people just don't want to take the time to actually look at it that way. They read, well, I just, I just feel it in my gut. And I'm like, oh, that's not a very useful way to look at the world. <laughs> it's highly unreliable. But this application should make it a lot quicker, a lot more convenient it's to... It's a tool that could make it easier. You, yeah. and, and I think through using it, you might learn better about how these concepts work, about how Bayes' theorem operates in terms of what is a prior probability and how are we arriving at that? Like that, you can learn it by just doing it and think, oh, okay, now I'm starting to get it uh, of how this works. And then how likelihood ratios work, like that it might be like confusing at first, but once you ask specific questions, you start to realize why those questions matter and why the answers matter and how the answers actually affect your conclusion. So by, by actually using it, you actually start to learn it better. And I, I think that is one of the most valuable aspects of it. I gotta admit when I um, heard uh, of Bayes' theorem, I immediately wanted to start applying it on everything. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard you speaking about it the other day, um, Sold. You got me. <laughs> Fully Deconverted and Reality Revolutions has partnered up to give one lucky viewer free access to the Crestus app. All you got to do to participate is email aurael at fullydeconverted.com within three days of the airing of this video. In the subject line, make sure to include free app. Exactly like that, because that's how I'm going to filter the emails. I'll do a random drawing and select and announce the winner on our future video, as well as email the winner back the code for a free download for the Crestus app. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you out there. What up, Ara El Avinu here with Full Lady Converted, and I want you to make sure that you watch the next episode of the Carrier Series so that you can learn how to get a cool shirt like this for free. Oh, that's sad. Oh, gosh. Always on black. Anyways, check it out. All right, I'm filming right now. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, I'll see you out there. How do you build? A reliable worldview from scratch. How do we know our particular pieces of these worldviews are correct and not someone else's? Live that self-examined life. For those who think beyond boundaries, where is your pride? What's up everybody, Aurel Avinu here with Fully Deconverted, and I wanna say a huge thanks to all our donors that made the Carrier Series possible. Donors like Steve Watson, Dan Honschel, Terrell Wolbert, Reality Revolution, Scott Michael Burdage, Sam Stetson, Dino Rosati, and Mitzi Cordell. <laughs> as well as other persons like Nathan Dickey, Kristen Hood, and Peter Smayfield. Those were our executive producers and producers. Again, without you, wouldn't have been possible. Thank you.